when we go to a reported fire in a building, we act like we're at a fire in a building, right? So, I mean, even if we pull up on nothing showing in a smoke in the building kind of call, you know, our companies are, are laying dry supply lines. The ladder companies are taking their positions, setting the outriggers and laddering the roof. Portable ladders are coming off. The guys are coming off, geared up to the nines with their hands in the tools. Nine out of 10 times, the engine company is stretching to the entrance to the fire area. You know, and, and what happens at the end? You guessed it a, a good number of times, just like you, it's not a fire. Oh, darn. Oh, we exerted all that effort. We got to put all that stuff back on a fire truck. Woe is me. Well, you know, that might be true. You might have done a little bit extra work, but the, the payoff that you got for that investment, you know, was that you just, I'll, I'll use stretching an attack line as an example. You just stretched an attack line with zero notice to a building you thought was on fire at a building you might not have ever been to before, you know, it may be in the middle of the night or in the rain, right, under time compressed circumstances. You know, in the best case scenario, um, it's a fire and, and you're now ready. You're in the ready position. You're not going to be behind the eight ball and you're ready to crush it, right? If it's not a fire, then, then the worst case scenario is you just got the best drill you're going to get today. You're not going to replicate that kind of experience at, a burn, at the burn building. 